All right, so here's my second design. Here's my first design that I liked. Here's my second design that I liked. So I'm going to have a tough choice here, but I'm going to go with this one right here. And I'm probably going to do something a little bit different in this area later on. But the important thing to know is a concept is a concept. It's not written in stone. It's just to help you stop getting into so much detail at beginning levels. Okay. So I'm going to save this as a TIFF in a directory on my hard drive and call it side copy and make sure it has no layers. Okay. That's important. You want to keep everything really streamlined. And maybe I'll save this one to for later use, maybe a, as an example for the video. So. Okay, good. Now, when we, when we go into Maya here, whoops. We have to set a project. Project set. And in this case, on my desktop, I have weapon design. That allows me to easily get the textures, but I still say that my second method for getting textures works a little bit better. So, hypershade. The first method is, wait for the hypershade to pop up. The first method is to go to textures and right click here to file import. Okay, now in most cases that works pretty good, but check this out and watch it work because that's just the funny part about making videos is the fact that something works even, aha, see it didn't work. So in this case, I must go over to desktop, weapon design side copy click and drag it that's the old faithful way of getting it in here next I'm going to choose material and I'm going to make a new material Lambert and I'm going to call this side now to rename it all I do is right click on it to rename it and call it capital S I D E side now textures middle mouse button click and drag this to the textures and go to default so there's nothing really new here. We've we've been assigning textures to materials as far as for reference. I think one of the main differences here is the fact that I'm only using a side instead of you know a three-sided orthographic view. Okay, here. Middle mouse button click and drag this over to the side. And six on the keyboard should present me with with something that does not compute. Okay, wait a minute. Let me see here what happened. Uh, let me break this connection. Middle mouse button, click and drag it over to I'm just going to assign it to color, even though color is default. Aha, there we go. Huh, weird. So I'm going to take this and now rotate it so the side view is shown. Okay. And don't worry about it being backwards or upside down or anything like that just so I can see this flat in here six on the keyboard and then I'm just gonna rotate this around a little bit and type in 90 degrees there we go so now important to know um, we have our reference and it's here's the positive X 
the gun is pointing in the positive Z. Okay, that's just good workflow is get that set up right. I'm going to put it off in the background. And I'm going to add it to a new layer. And right click add selected objects. Then I can toggle this to read only. Then make sure you save it. Okay, so that's your workflow of getting your concept into Maya. Nothing new, but I just want to refresh her on that. And please move on to the next video.